Hey YouTube, here's uh, three non-contact voltage testers that I wanted to do a very quick review on. Not an in-depth review, but just make some basic points with them. The first one that I picked up, uh, this is a, a GB. It's a uh, Gardner Bender, and it's I think it's a 3504 model number. Uh, it's actually a pretty good... Uh, little non-contact voltage tester but it's too sensitive but I bought this for at a pawn shop actually for like two bucks and this is the first one that I had and I thought it was pretty good because you needed to press the button in order to get it to start working and when you release the button it uh, just shuts down so you save your battery considerably but again it's too sensitive I'll demonstrate it in just a bit uh, the second one is this uh, Greenlee G12A, uh, GT12A, excuse me. And this is supposed to be a really good one, and it's pretty, it's pretty good. I mean, I, I like it, except um, it, it, anytime you do, you touch it against something, it beeps, and you can, I think, disable that beeping, but. It's not much good to me without the beeping uh, but I just thought that's annoying but other than that it's uh, a pretty good tester it has a self check that supposedly when you shut it off which is this green button here and you turn it on it always goes through this self check apparently that is the self test that tells you everything's okay uh, but I had picked up the Greenlee and this Fluke, which is a 1A C2. And I was going to decide between these two because what I need one of these for is uh, going through my junction boxes in my house. I need to isolate wires because I'm diagramming the electrical system, what goes to which breaker and so forth. And this uh, Gardner Bender was just too sensitive. It went off like three inches away from any power source. And that's not what, that's too sensitive. So these two were recommended. I'm ultimately going to keep the Fluke. Although these are very close in, in the way that they work as far as the sensitivity. You can see it's right in the probe and then it goes off. And with the AC, the fluke goes right in the probe and it goes off. You can see with the Gardner Bender, when I press the button, how close I can get before it starts to go off. See, so that's, uh, that's too sensitive. I'll tell you where these are very good when you're going on uh, drywall and you're looking to trace a wire these these work whereas uh, these two don't they're uh, not as sensitive so they don't they they don't uh, trace wire through wall but this actually when I was going through my house and just moving it up I can actually trace the wire because um you know three four inches away from the electrical wire and that actually worked real well shows me uh, vertically horizontally where the wires at and I don't have to tear out my drywall so this is actually very good and worth uh, keeping in your toolbox um, as far as the junction box and the and the tracing wires like I said um, here's a here's a power wire and you can see this is obviously touching and it's on it's not activated but if I go on the other side you know it's I don't know how far away that is but it's pretty close but it's on that side where it's reacting so this this negative side or it doesn't react which is good and that's what I want to use in my junction box so you could see the fluke same thing touching that net that uh, common or ground I don't know what it is but the hot wire gets right up there 
it has to get right up there to touch and that's why I'm keeping this because it's this is what I need so in the junction box that I have or the several that I have at my house they have a bunch of wires in them and I, I need something that you need to get right up on it to uh, to go off and this uh, this does it get right up on there so that's just a quick review uh, this is pretty good it's not as heavy as the fluke fluke in the hand feels the best feels like a construction tool should feel it's more pricey it's 20 plus dollars depending on where you get it uh, but it's very good and I'm keeping it this one actually is priced really well at least on Amazon at the time I purchased it it's like $14 thought that's a great buy but I don't need two all I need is one otherwise I would have kept this it's not as heavy doesn't feel as good in the hand but it certainly is very functional and you know worth the buy if you don't want to spend the money on the fluke so that's just a quick review on these three and for the Gardner Bender if you can get this for like six bucks or so it's worth if you're looking to possibly do some wire tracing through your walls now if your walls are plaster I have an old house part of it is uh, plaster walls doesn't work because of that steel mesh that you have but with a regular drywall which most of you I'm sure have regular drywall it works beautifully and my whole downstairs is I re drywalled the whole thing so it's got regular drywall and it works great so just a quick bid thought you might be interested uh, this is the cheapest of them all normally I think you can get these for 10 bucks or less um, the sale price on this uh, GT 12a 14 bucks uh, I don't know that that's no, I don't think that's the normal price it's more like 18 if you go on eBay uh, 16 to 18 um, the fluke um, the 1 AC 2 which is what this is it's priced anywhere from twenty two dollars to thirty bucks I mean it's all it's it's a high-end I guess uh, non-contact -con voltage tester but um, worth the money in my in my view so just a quick vid hope you found it useful thanks for watching <laughs>